Have you ever wondered how people used to get their food before the days of modern grocery stores? Well, get ready for an exciting journey into the past with How Did Grandpa Get His Food? From Beans to Butter to Bacon by Meryl Potter and Rosemary Potter. Meet Grandpa, a young boy who grew up on a farm near a big river. Join him as he takes you on a delightful adventure, showing you how his family grew and prepared their own food in a time when modern conveniences were not yet available. Learn about the incredible ways Grandpa's family cultivated their own fruits and vegetables, raised animals for meat and eggs, and even caught fish from the river to enjoy a delicious meal. Discover how they preserve their food for the winter months by canning, pickling, and storing it. You'll be amazed at the ingenuity and resourcefulness they used to make sure they had enough to eat all year round. And just wait until you see how they celebrated Thanksgiving. Grandpa's family gathered around a table filled with a bountiful feast made entirely from the land and water around them. It's a true celebration of nature's gifts. How did Grandpa get his food is not just a story. It's a valuable lesson in the importance of hard work, self-sufficiency, and respect for the environment. Through Grandpa's experiences, you'll gain a new appreciation for the food you eat and the effort required to grow and prepare it. Parents and teachers, this book is a must-have for educating your children about traditional methods of food production and the significance of self-sufficiency. It's also a valuable resource for anyone interested in sustainable living, homesteading, or history. Don't miss out on the opportunity to go on this incredible journey into the past. How did Grandpa get his food? From Beans to Butter to Bacon by Merle Potter and Rosemary Potter is now available at www.youronlinepublicist.com.